But what I've done is created a little bit of something different. I'm a third line. I like to change it up. I like to make things different. And I'm going to guide you through the program. Just get that right out of the way. And then we're going to go through some of these pieces here that um, I've presented from the stuff from before. So what you're looking at is this is the start, the open house for the Living Your Design guide training. So if you've done Living Your Design, Rave ABCs, Rave Cartography, you are qualified to enter into this program now. You do have to have all of those um, under your belt in order to move into being a Living Your Design guide. This program for this part of the training there's three components. Here's the first component. The first component is we have 10 live classes together. They're going to be about 90 minutes. If it's a bigger group of people, it might go all the way up to two hours. About halfway through the time frame, I give you a break of five minutes to get up, walk, go to the bathroom, whatever, what have you. If you have um, a brain system that needs that kind of break, so Marlene definitely and Iu Liu, you guys are going to need to take that break um, because the brain system needs to have uh, some energy come back into the body to be able to refocus. So it's going to need some hot liquid or some snacks or something like that. So I really encourage you to take advantage of that rest time to get up and stretch and all of that. Um, these classes are always live streamed and recorded. That's my redundancy system as a third line so that I don't lose uh, classes. It's the worst feeling ever, losing classes or worst case scenario, a reading of somebody's and then having no recording of it. So my redundancy is I will live stream it into our private Facebook group after the first open house. The first open house is open for anybody to participate in case you want to know what the program is about, what it's like being in classes, ask any questions and just kind of um, see what the flavor is of what the group is moving forward. So these courses in this course, Living Your Design Guide, there's again three components. This is the most important thing that you have to attend live if you can. If you can't, you can of course make it up if something comes up. It's recorded obviously. But what I'd like you to do to make sure that I know that you've watched it is if you do miss a live training, I need you to write me at this point and let me know what you liked about the presentation, what you maybe didn't understand any questions that you have so that I know that you've watched it okay so that's my first requirement is that attendance is required for these 10 classes either live or recorded you will need to obtain the living your design guide manual and teaching slides so I'll show you where to get that in just a moment and what I'd like to do for you is have you um, have myself, I'm going to read this for you actually. There's a bunch of units, so I'm going to switch from the presentation over into the private Facebook group, which is my way of connecting everyone who's in this class together with each other and providing more content for you to go through at your own time and in your own leisure. But I just want to welcome you to this course first and read that welcome letter that I've, I've written for you. You'll see that it's in here in unit one if you want to find it. It's in this L YD guides group and we have all the way down through to a unit 16 okay so there's a lot more units than there are classes so you're gonna want to go through these at your own time and in your own leisure uh, becoming a human design professional is a really important huge step for you so I wrote this for you to hopefully inspire you all of us are on a journey of individuation. Within you, within each of us, lies the keys to unlock our innate potential. We as human design professionals know that most people will not wake up and that this knowledge is for children. We know that we have the tools to unlock the potential of those who are ready, those who are on our fractal. And if you don't know what that is, please type into the chat so that I can explain that concept. Those who resonate with us and respond to us, we're here for them. The purpose of this group that I've put together here is to synthesize and distill the knowledge into applicable steps that can bring you to the highest place of your potential efficiently and effectively when it comes to your work with human design. 
So to join us on this particular journey takes a level of comprehension and commitment that goes beyond the traditional one that most people make to their work. Okay? It is way beyond a job. This is a lifestyle. And the path of this particular journey is not something to achieve out there. For this particular, this is the most important human design professional we have because you are the leading edge of the people that most people will come to meet because there's a lot less uh, analysts out there. It's much easier to become a guide. The guide is the first um, core of people that brings human design out into the world. So it's it's inside this journey that I want to help you embark on. The journey that you take is intensely individual. It's inside of you. When you make that shift inside of you, that's when things around you tr start to shift. That's when they really start to change. I'm not going to give you cookie cutter advice in this course. This is going to be about your particular design if you decide to continue the journey with me. I'm not going to hold your hand and I'm not going to do anything for you in this course because it's all coming down to your own strategy and authority. If you take the classes and you never show up for the um, study groups of delivering and you never show up for actually auditing a living your design, which is the other two components. So there's the delivery component and there's an auditing a watching component. If you don't show up to those, you won't get your certification, even if you paid the money and even if you um, attended every single one of these live training course classes with me, there are other components. So I need you to make sure that you're in charge of your own certification process. Okay, so I'm not going to hound you to do your homework in this class. So this course is designed to help you apply the vast knowledge of human design to your career and to your business as a professional. No matter what you call yourself, no matter what certifications that you have, okay? So it's going to help you understand how to be successful for you. As you know, it's deconditioning that is really important and key for us to be able to start to unlock our potential. And that deconditioning first requires that we release false premises that our conditioned mind holds about ourselves. The beliefs, the paradigms, the expectations that come from not self. And that is, of course, anything that's open inside of your design, your body graph. That is what the not self mind is built on. So as you continue the journey of awakening to the fullest expression of you, a step forward into the proper flow of your own life's movie, there will be plot twists and turns, drama and suspense, emotional highs and emotional lows. As with any captivating epic, this is the movie of you with you as the starring role. This is supposed to be for you the most fascinating journey. It's you unlocking you. So in this role of a star of your own life movie, the heights to which you will shoot will be exactly perfect for you and your design. So long as you continue to follow your strategy and your authority, these keys, the decision-making strategy that we're going to make sure that you really know, not only for you, but now every single other type of human that exists on this planet, we're going to help you understand these keys, tools, techniques. I'm going to give you as much as possible of what I know that works through all of my experimentation over the last eight years of what doesn't work. So these techniques are in no way suggested to be taken and used in a way that usurps your highest recommendation, recommendation in design, which is experiment with honoring what's right for you, your strategy and authority first and foremost. On this journey, you might discover that there's going to be flashes of certainty or clarity, calm, and that you can ride the waves of up and down when it comes to the experience of abundance of any kind. I'm not just talking about you transitioning into being a professional and now making an income off of human design, but money, career, business, love, relationships, let all of them ebb and flow from within and without of your life without resistance. With the simple acceptance of what is, following your decision-making strategy throughout it all, this is the ride 
of your lifetime. Now, like the seasons, life's flow moves in cycles. The depth and richness of your abundance is derived from the experience of it all, not the expectations. So I want to invite you to leave your expectations at the door. You might become a certified professional and never do a living your design guide training or a guide training, a living your design program, awakening program. What you might do because you're already a therapist or a coach is simply start to implement that knowledge in with your clients. And that's one of the things that I really get a kick out of is being able to help people with this mandala, their mandala, so that they can understand themselves. So to walk this journey of the human design professional is a gift that you're giving not just to yourself but to everyone that you're touching in your fractal your family your friends your clients your co-workers everybody you meet your frequency your integrity that has shifted sends out all those little ripples those butterfly effects that brings more compassion more peace more love more acceptance self-acceptance first yeah and then when we understand where the other person is coming from where we're coming from there's so much less of the dissonance the dis-ease the distrust the uncomfortable resistance the anger frustration bitterness disappointment so as one of the people who has benefited from amazing teachers who came before me, whom I would not be here today had they not dedicated themselves to the level that they had and passed on the knowledge to me, on behalf of them, as, and as myself, I want to thank you for even just coming to this class, okay, for today's attention that you're giving me. On behalf of your future students, clients, family, friends, who are merely waiting for that magical moment when that transition happens from you to them, where the fire of human design spreads and we wake up one person at a time. It could happen just like that. I thank you. So it's an honor to be walking with you on this journey. Much love to you. Thank you for being here. Let me see what we have here in. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Irene, for asking the question. So let's talk about fractal, okay? I'm gonna look at our body graphs. Ooh, take a look at how on this map of our genetic potential, everybody has their own map. And what we're looking at here is we've got arrows. Okay, you see these arrows? Now you know how everybody has their own type, right? Everybody has their own type. Type is a way that we subdivide humans into four basic types, the four building blocks of the kinds of people that show up in this world, projector, manifester, reflector, and generator. Now variable are those four arrows right there, and variable subdivides us into 16. So we can see who's in our fractal family just by those variable, the variable grids. So if they've got the same variable, then that's something that kind of shows you there's a similarity there. There's a connection there. Another thing that shows us where we are fractal sisters and brothers is if you can see these nodal environments right here, how we're born into these vibrational frequencies of what everything in this body graph is filtering through in order to program us 88 degrees before we were born all of this information all of the stellar background field all of the neutrinos everything came through these two points in space okay same thing on the other side everything came when you were born everything here and here came through these two points in space that is our seeing and our being, where we're designed to be to fulfill our role in this life, how we're designed to see, to have the perspective so that we can fulfill our roles in this life. So now that you know that this is an, an important part of your design, that it is the path that you're here to walk, it's the people and what they're dealing with all around you, and it's the way that you see, perceive, and the relationship that you have to the totality of existence. That's your nodes. That's the path you're walking. So now nodes, real briefly, nodes in case that didn't help, nodes are a trajectory in space. It's where we're coming from, south nodes, and it's where we're moving to, north nodes. Imagine this path as a road 
in a giant city. You know, if you've been in a giant city, the road on one side is named this road. This road here, 42, line six. This is the road. That's my road, right? It's, it's a road of growth. And over here on the other side, about halfway through our life point, we shift when we have our uh, maturing energy. It's time to really start to breathe out in the life instead of taking in experience. Now we're breathing out. That's our Uranus opposition, which is between 38 to 44 years of age, depending on how Uranus was moving when you were born. This on the other side of that road, of that large city road, that path that you're walking, it's changed frequencies now on the other side of the spectrum. In your maturing energy, it's time now to breathe out in a different way. And that is shifting the perspective, here it's perspective, here it's being, what people are dealing with and what you're here to see. You are sensitive to this road because this is the path that you're treading. This is where you will fulfill your purpose. This is where you will fulfill your purpose. This is how you see. Let me just write it here. C and B. Okay, so we got that. Is that clear? One more piece. If you remember, if we're looking at a body graph, and let me, let's see, where did my, I pulled it over here. Hang on. We're looking at a body graph, and I'm going to switch the view into Rave Mandala. Okay, here's the rave mandala. Let's get rid of the just now because that can uh, confuse things a bit. So let's find Lavina's nodes. They are here is the south nodes. So here's my south nodes. And here are my north nodes right there and right there. So in my path and on my trajectory, I'm going this way. What do you notice about nodes? Something similar to, to what's going on in our body graph. It's similar to the sun and earth. What do you guys notice about these nodes? Yeah? They're moving from one side of the body graph to the other. They're always oppositions in the wheel. What else is always oppositions in the wheel? Always oppositions in the wheel are our sun and earth activations. Therefore, if you would imagine all of us as fractal pieces of each other, because we're all one unit, right? Initially, the first composition of time, space, reality didn't come until we had this separation to be able to have fragments of each other having differenting, differentiating perspectives of what's happening. So where we are on the fractal line, how we're connected up to, to connect with each other is going to be seen in our sun, earth, personality crystal imprint, design crystal imprint, and the nodes show us our karmic relationships with others. So as an example, if I go here, I'm going to show you my chart one more time from a, a differentiated perspective so that you can see it a little bit clearly. Anybody who has 3029 in their nodal environment, if they really resonate with me, if they're attracted to me, they come to me, they want to have some kind of dialogue with me, they respond to my way of speaking, my way of guiding, these are people that I have a karmic connection to. Absolutely, utterly. If anybody comes to me that has a 3242, crosses of Mayas, I see a ton of those in my practice. If anybody comes to me who has the 28 and 27 in their sun, earth, just the sun, earth now I'm talking, I have a karmic connection with them. I have a fractal connection with them. And same thing with the 14 and the 8. So I hope that helps. Does that make sense to everybody? I wish I had a really great visual for this. Unfortunately, I don't. Um, it's kind of a, an interesting thing. Oh, I'm so glad that that makes sense to you. Yeah, it is beautiful. It's really beautiful. So here's one of the key uh, points to this. One of the reasons why I decided to take some time to show that to you is because when you become a living or design guide, if you're still deeply trapped in the mire and muck of your conscious thinking mind, thinking that there's comparison, there's measurement, there's judgment, there's competition out here in the world of human design, 
there's no competition because you are here exactly perfect for the people that are going to come to you. And when you are ready, when the teacher is ready, the student appears. Okay? It's not just the other way around. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. When the teacher is ready, there are people out there that are just waiting for you to get this enough to be able to transmit it to them. And it might be in a passing conversation. It might just be in the frequency resonance of you living your design. And you have an interaction with someone else that changes, maybe slightly, their trajectory in space forever because you gave them a key. That key is how do they make decisions that they trust? How do they know who they are in this life? How can they accept their role, their life, their experiences? Strategy and authority always gives us the key. So that's why this is, again, one of the most important pieces of becoming a living your design guide is just that piece, strategy and authority, nailing it for every single person that you see. Now, in order to get really good at this, you have to practice. So I'm going to encourage you all to practice with us when you do this. Yeah, Rebecca, do you remember um, how you, you, you were so adamant about coming to be with me in my classes. That's the kind of draw that happens. So let's go back to the presentation here. Live stream recorded. Ah, the journey of individuation. I'm on the first slide. Oops. Here we go. The next piece is I want to invite you to get the Living Your Design manual and teaching slides. Now, you do not have to get this right away. Um, oh, that is... Oops, I'm going to close. Well, I wanted to leave that open. I keep going back to it, though, because I normally teach in that instead of the um, presentation slides. Okay, there. Journey of Individuation. I just read that for you. Obtain the manual. That's in Unit 2. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get to Unit 2. If we go to Units here, and we see Unit 2, okay? So besides signing up for this course, there are a couple of of just one actually required material and that is the living your design manual for cellular transformation but the instructor manual not the student manual which you probably already have if you don't already have the student manual the instructor manual is exactly the same however it's much thicker and it has uh, transcripts of raw teaching living your design guides in red so it's going to be a thicker book, okay? So you can get that when you get into our group. There's a link to buy it from Human Design America. And the other thing you might want to do, there's the Living Your Design Guide slides presentation. Now, you do not have to buy this, but you're going to want to start to work on yours. If you're not buying it, create yours because you're going to be delivering practicing, delivering the material in living your design. So you're going to want slides for that, either making them or buying them. So this was the older version from Human Design Canada, no longer available. I still like that picture. I think it's cool. And here at the IHDS school, I'm just going to click on that link and show you, you can get the workshop presentation slides, which are same as the Human Design Canada. They're just updated, uh, prettier pictures, you know, more, more recent, cleaner. So there's that. That's the thing that's going to be required for this course. Any questions on that, please let me know. Now, okay, let me see. There's a question. Buy the book. Yes. Oh, so um, here's the thing. I just learned from Irene that Human Design America will give you a discount so that it's not as expensive to send it to you. I don't think that there's one in the European area. I haven't seen um, if you can buy that buy so I don't know the answer to that question it might be that you can buy one um, I don't know so I'll, let me check back to you to with you on that but I do know that Human Design America will give you a discount so audit is the next piece after you go through all of the different aspects of living your design guide training not after, but concurrently if you want to. It could be after if you want to. If you're making extended payments, best that it's after. Take your time. You know, you might have other obligations that you have to do. But one of the things that you want to do is definitely audit a new LYD live rather than taking it recorded live. Be there live. Participate as an aware 
guide trainee rather than, you know, maybe a year ago or six months ago or five years ago, whenever it was that you took your first LYD, you're going to revisit this material as a participant, but from the frame of all the education that you've now taken. So you can take it with any teacher. It does not have to be with me or the in, uh, human design life coaching uh, group of us. It can be with anybody who's certified, as long as they're certified, okay? So if you have a favorite person, you want to go take it with a lock and on Diaz, it's just that it's not included with a lock if you go through this program. It is included if you go through us, with us here. So the next all type living your design audit is to de be determined. We already have a couple of signups, so we just have to find the right time and date that works for everybody to begin. And Julie is going to be doing that one, the next all type one. There's also one by um, Rose and Cheryl. Uh, they, they, they are both splenic projectors and Julie is an emotional projector so the those there's two options coming up I personally won't be doing a all type living your design this year I just don't have the the space for it so if you want to take it with me you'll have to wait until sometime at the next uh, year attendance is required and you can make up classes so in order to be able to do this making up those classes it's the same principle you watch the video training you write dialogue whatever it is that comes up for you in going through the LYD and then you share it with either myself or with the IHDS teacher that you're taking the living your design with okay so that's another component that you're going to need to do now in delivery it's about practicing and playing with this knowledge and getting comfortable with the language and how to describe it so we have a facilitated study group for you to be able to bring yourself and your slides to practice. That is going to be starting September 24th through uh, November 19th. There's gonna be a break week on the first week of October. So that's Tuesday mornings. It's 11 a.m. CDT Central Daylight Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, okay? It's recorded. You do not have to come to practice but it's really suggested that you come and practice because you are going to need to deliver all of the material in Living Your Design from a practice place. So this is, you come and you get it done in a group. Now, maybe you're not a group person. Maybe you're a one-on-one -on -one person. Maybe you want to take your best friend or your husband or some somebody through this program one-on-one. -on -one. You feel more comfortable. You don't want to do it in a group. That's completely fine. You need to be able to send your recordings into me so that I can verify that you did your delivery. Okay. So that's another option. Now I want to show you, oh, you work too on Tuesdays. Okay. We'll have to find something else that works for you. Um, that yeah, let's let's connect afterwards and, and see what we can do for um, facilitating you. Sometimes, yeah, if you can't, like highly suggest, but if you can't, then you're going to have to practice that with somebody else um, or take another um, practice group. So the thing that I want to take you to now is unit one for inspiration. So just to show you something right here. It does not have to be in English if English is not your first language. The thing there, though, is that I can't verify that you're saying it, you know, all of the pieces. So what you're going to need to do is in the um, presentation, you're going to need to read off the slide and then translate it into your language so that I can see that you're at least reading off the slide and then translating. OK, if that makes sense. Enough of it needs to be in English that I can see that you're doing the work of practicing. Okay, so here's some teaching examples that I wanted to share with you. And that was after that, see, welcome to the journey that I just read to you. Here are the teaching examples and delivering the fundamentals. I have a bunch of links for you to be able to see the basic concepts, okay? Because I'm not going to explain to you the basic concepts in this training course. I have videos you'll watch and then you're going to come to class and we're going to dialogue and discuss so that every single class, every single person is getting what they need from this information, from this material to recognize how to translate it, you know, how to be able to explain it well. So we're going to dialogue in class. I'm not going to lecture. Now there will be lecture periods depending on what we're going through. For, but for this piece, you'll 
The other reason why I have a whole bunch here, I have an original scripted video that I created when I first became a guide in 2014. And you're going to watch the progression of how much better I get at languaging these concepts. And this is only for your inspiration. If you're struggling, especially with the first uh, presentation, which is basic concepts, all of these different esoteric um, mechanical things that you really don't have a grounding in actual application yet because you're new to this, that's the place where you might need a little extra coaching or help around explaining. So that's why there's so many of these in here. Uh, different ways that I've experimented with being able to transmit. And one of the things, reasons why I have this in here is because you'll notice at the very beginning of my experiment of being a teacher, and I'm going into my sixth year this fall, you're going to notice that in the beginning, my voice was very different than it is now. Because this experience changes you so much at a cellular level it changes the way that you talk it changes the way that you see the way that you think oh my god my brain is so different I can literally I'm smarter because I can see more my my mind is functioning more correctly so I'm doing this to to show you that this is about practice and play in the beginning you do your best and you keep going with a continual repetition, you will get better and better and better at this. So don't think that any of your practice has to be perfect. It doesn't. It has to be you. That's all there is to it. Just you. And in that you-ness, you will touch the people on your fractal that are just waiting for you. Right place, right time, following your decision-making strategy. So that was the second component. Um, now, I talked about audit. I talked about delivery so we talked about delivery and then we're going to go into certification requirements so again you have to have finished living your design rave abc's ray cartography you have to have finished the 10 classes of the training the audit portion and the delivery portion you're going to need to create an account with ihgsschool.com so um, here under the certified professionals ihgsschool.com forward slash professionals this is where I am and you will be too once you're certified, once you've finished your qualifications. You're going to have the, let's see, basic training qualifications of a Living Your Design Guide, okay? And so you'll have your own link that you can send people to to verify that you are certified. With the advent of so much of the world getting interested in the esoteric mysteries because of Pluto moving into gate 61, we have this huge wave of people coming into human design who are not certified whatsoever. And this is one of the differentiating factors that you have taken the coursework required. You've delivered on your practicum. You've, you've actually really developed your skills enough to be able to do good work in the world. I'm not saying value judgment, they're doing bad work. I'm just saying this is about you being the professional that you were designed to be. If you're coming to me, this is what my desire is for you, is that you become a professional that really knows his or her stuff. And to know your stuff, you're going to need to practice and you're going to need to study. So one of the things that I do is that I really encourage you to come back and audit any of my Living Your Design, Rave ABCs, Rave Cartography, just ask like uh, Rebecca is doing and like Irene is doing, okay? So that's my invitation to you to just message me afterwards to make sure that you know you're supported. I want you to know for the next year, once you sign up, you are welcome to message me if you have any issues. If you have a client, you're looking at their design and you're having difficulties, you're not sure how to guide them. That's what our study group is for. And that's what I'm for. I'm your guide, teacher trainer to help you understand how to frame things in a way that hopefully will help it get across to this other person. So in our training, I'm going to show you keys through circuitry, through languaging of how to speak to somebody's design, like speak to wake up their design. Okay, so that's one of my um, pieces that I wanna in invite you to take advantage of. Completing the course requirements is up to you, not me. I will just provide the space and you come. 
okay? You deliver. Lavina, I, will send your certification fee to IHDS once you've completed all of the course requirements. You're going to need to sign an integrity agreement stating that you will not deliver anything to somebody that you don't have the qualifications for. So this means no primary health system, no rave psychology, nothing that you haven't studied without disclosing that you are not a certified professional in that area of human design. Okay, of course, if you're a student, you can practice and tell them, hey, I'm a student. Right now, I personally am in the differentiation degree program. I am not doing those readings because I know I really need the whole training and I need to make sure that I'm prepared and I'm ready, that I'm able to fulfill on people's expectations of me. Otherwise, my reputation gets ruined. So, of course, this is all up to you. But there are professionals out there who have lost their license because they are deliberately feeding information and doing things without maintaining the integrity of delivering the components in the way that we as, as IHGS have designed this program to be delivered in the way that really works with people that doesn't hurt them. So why am I saying that? Let's imagine that somebody comes brand new, fresh to human design, and they're super excited. They've heard all about this human design, and there's people out there right now selling diet programs. Oh my God, Rob would roll in his grave. Diet programs based on human design. Okay, so they come to human design. They go into one of these groups. They see that they're gonna get an advanced chart based on all of their advanced stuff, and it says, let's say, cold. I'm a cold thirst person. It says cold as their primary health system. So they're told by somebody who doesn't have the certification, you need to eat everything cold, make sure it's cold, like ice cold, really cold. And it's the middle of winter. And they're like, well, I'm really sick right now. Are you sure? Yes, really cold. So the person eats cold and then they get sick and then they get pneumonia. I mean, this can really damage somebody. The other thing that it can do, if you start to put somebody into that deeper layer of the primary health system or rave psychology before they're ready, it confuses the heck out of them because they can't conceptualize. They don't know their design yet. They don't know their authority yet. And so they're, they're doing the same thing, projecting their authority out to the world, having somebody else tell them what to do. Now doing that and what can happen is it intensifies the deconditioning. And that body might not be ready to handle the intensity of the deconditioning process. Hi, I've been there. I did that. I found human design in September and I did, I t didn't really know what I was doing for at least six months. I, six months later, I did a, a, a analysis with my primary health system with just that piece. You're cold and really started to everything cold. And that was the worst year that I had because I insisted on doing everything cold and it intensified. I mean, I had meltdowns, I couldn't work, I was crying. It was a big mess, it really intensified things. My mind shattered repeatedly and I was depressed and there were so, kind, so many kinds of things that I went through that I just want you to be very careful about, to not play with the fire that maybe you haven't had training in playing with yet you know like um, people who try to replicate tony robbins walking on hot coals there's people who have gotten into a lot of trouble trying to do that because they don't know the keys to making it work so to be on the safe side always go back to strategy and authority anytime somebody asks you this is not a power trip always bring it back to their design and say look to your authority okay so that's part of the integrity agreement and celebrate once you're done celebrate and join us in the human design system facebook group as a professional i have a certified uh let's see here certified professional grouping that i just want you to know about there it is we have a, a group where we network with each other those of us who are on Facebook and um, there's more places where you can actually learn and share and grow together and get um, information and inspiration from other certified guides so if you have questions further and you want to network with other analysts as well there's all kinds of human design professionals in here okay so there's that any questions on anything that I've delivered so far. We've done our LYDG, 
that's one component. Audit is another, deliver is another, and then there's the final piece.